Cameron Hadley, Williston, and Turnabout represented here in this 135-pound belt. Aaron Forty, obviously a young man right there, said the first one felt just as good as number four, and I'm sure the two and three in between felt just the same as well. Uh, he's a great wrestler, good character, always a hard worker, and one of these kids that, I tell you what, if I was a college recruiter, I would have been looking for him right away. Okay, we're going to start the 135-pound match. we got Eddie Macy out of Williston, Jr., 33 and six record coming in here. we got the number one seed out of Turtle Mountain, returning state champion, Cameron Hamley. He's a senior, 43 and one record. Both these guys have seen each other a couple times this year. Macy's in the back in the black. Hamley is in the yellow. One of the strongest, funkiest wrestlers I've seen. Uh, this Cameron, 4.0 student. He was our uh, basically Mr. Wrestler candidate of the West Region. Uh, well deserved, very tough guy. One of the strongest. I, he's one of these guys that when he puts something on, it's like he has just an extra gear. It's like, you know, I'm going to cradle you and I'm putting you away and it's done. And he's, I've seen it over and over. Uh, very solid, technical wrestler. But uh, he does he does some funky things now and then. He does, likes a little underhook, does some trips. And then we got Eddie Macy. Williston. Another young wrestler who's growing up in the ranks. Second kid from Williston in the finals here tonight. That's got a, last year. Yep, another state finalist return. He's got a bear on really tight. That Cameron Hamley. You know, he took second in Greco in the cadet just uh, two years ago. So upper body, he feels very comfortable there. John, when you're a guy that takes second the year prior, you're back to the title match for next year, what does it mean to get back into that ring or back into the circle ready for your second straight appearance in the title match? Well, I'll tell you about it. It's, it's a little nerve-wracking. When I was a junior, I was in the state finals, took second to the end of being Mr. Wrestler, Steve McCormick. And, and I guess what? There was a goal and a situation coming into the match that there was going to be nothing I was going to do to, to stop me. And I wasn't going to stop. It was going to be full success. Crazy, crazy wrestling there. Just, it, you know, he looked like me. He had to take down and no panic on a, on a camera at all. And takes that early 2-0 lead here under about 15 seconds here in the first. You know, it looked like me. He was going to get you a takedown there. But going back to this, looking into the state finals, you were going to the lights you got to forget everything. It doesn't matter if you've been in the state finals four times, one time. Yeah, this is the only opportunity you'll ever have. When, when, you're, when you're in there, guess what? You're focused on the wrestler and getting your job done. You know, you, you can't, you know, over overanalyze, I guess is a good word for it. You can't say, oh, this kid's got a single. Oh, this kid's got a Well, you do your best stuff. And I like Devin Forty's comment. You know, his dad said, you don't go out and have some fun. You know, wrestle your match. Wrestle smart. You know, and they had their plan. They wanted to get their two takedowns, and they went through the pin. And I'll tell you what, they had a script. They got it done. Second period starts. You got Cameron, Hamley on bottom, down position. Turtle Martin having a pretty nice tournament. Uh, Turtle Martin was sitting, I think, in fifth place here, ready to coming into the finals. Turtle Martin sit with 131 points. Right behind us, man in. I'll, I'll get out. Now, this is Turtle Bone's only finalist. So, this is their one chance to bring the state championship home. Uh oh. And he's got it. Getting out the single. A little quick roll. Man, that's some crazy wrestling. Like I said, they're going to let it loose. Try to catch somebody. Cameron Hamley with a reversal now, 4 0. Talk about that point of being the runner-up and back into the circle the next year. Runner-up in 2009, runner-up in 2008. Hamley was the champion, like you mentioned, in 2010. Really showing some energy here in round number two. Well, he's just, you know, solid. He's one of these wrestlers that traditions himself 24-7. I, I swear sometimes when I watch this kid, he's always seems like he's got extra energy out in the mat. He's got another gear. Like I said, he, he turns it on when he needs to. Very smart individual, like I said. He's looking to maybe be the Val Victorian of the school up in Turtle Mountain. He's a 4.0 student. You know, academic all state, probably many, many times, of course, every year he's been here. It's a 
something you have to really applaud there as well, guys, that not only get it done on the mat or in any sports team, but do the same thing in the classroom. really shows what kind of leadership and mentality they have going into anything they do. Well, Turtle Mall will miss this guy, I'll guarantee you. He's also going to wrestle somewhere in college. I haven't heard where yet. I'll be asked from here in a bit. We'll never know. But he's working a cross face. Like you said, he's got one of these devastating cross faces. And he's a cradler, does some goofy moves. As this second period winds out, maybe has got to get up. He's got to score some points. Chuck Michelson, head coach at Williston, a little showing his face, saying, hey, we got to get going. Let's go. Stand up, caution. 27 seconds to go in the second period. We're going to talk to Angelo Shepard in just a few moments. He's the 125-pound three-time state champion from West Fargo. Toss on the other side. There we go. Good little stand-up. Man control. Sam Cameron Hamlin, like I said, very good Greco wrestler. Short time here, under 10. Macy's got a score here. Get full, score a little closer. Up, oh, stalling. Top men really not trying anything but to hold on. Quick start here. We'll see if he can pull his legs out. Now, these guys every once in a while do a little grabby roll to Williston wrestlers. Up, caution again. Now, that's two cautions. A third caution is a point. He's got to stay calm. Relax. And just wait for the referee to blow his whistle. There we go. Gets up. Really working, really working. Can't push him out of bounds. He's going to warm. Well, there was a time at the end of the second period. Cameron Ham Hamley leading 4 to 0. What's the game plan on the start here? Well, you know, Cameron's got a couple of cautions on him. It's again stand up. Cameron Howley's going to throw in the leg. He's going to try to work his cradle. And start working his cross face cradle that he's almost he could patent. See if he doesn't take him down. He's only been worn for stalling one. So that's usually what happens. You start cutting him. Cameron's going to circle and he's going to get a shot in here. Well, Maisie right now is he's got to push him. He's down three right now. Still got a minute and a half left the period. He's going to keep pushing him. Try to hopefully get a warning stall and then a takedown will tie it up. There's Cameron, good single. Oh, out of bounds. Just one step out there. So this match is nothing but over, not over yet. You know, right now, maisie has got to keep pushing him. Stay still in good good position here. Try to push him to get that stalling call and then get his takedown. Trailing here. Line three. He's got that underhook. Typing on the B side, you hear the cheers in the background. But uh, still working here. Now we're just at about the minute point. Cameron Hamley, smart, considering a single. He can finish here. Almost solidify this match for himself. Big takedown there, Cameron Hamley. Now up 6-1 to one with under a minute. Over on that class B side, you have Brady Ludd from Watford City. Wrestling a young man from Oaks. <laughs> okay, there's a quick stand up again here by Maisie. See if we can get a reversal, a little quick switch here. His hip slip. Cameron's just going to stay down the leg. Probably call a stalemate here. Oh, pulls his head out. Running out of time here. Maisie's got to stand up again. Pretty textbook here from Hamley with a 6-1 lead, 25 seconds to go. Well, looks like Vogel is going to be a state champion, beat Lund from Wofford City. Oh, potentially dangerous there. Short time here. 15 seconds left on the clock. Got an alternate start here. Oh, caution. Red, oh, wasn't Hamley. Now they both had two cautions. Alternate start. Ooh. 
kept wrestling. That could have been a false start there. Cameron's going to ride him out here. Short time, down to five. Where's his cradle? Oh, he's going to call him for that. Punch him a little bit there. A little frustrated a little bit, but he's going to walk away with the state championship here in about two seconds. Cameron Hamley, your 2011 135 pound state champion. There you see him there, congratulating the young man from Willis and Eddie Mays. He had a nice match. But again, Hamley, back to back at 135. When we come back, we're going to talk to Angelo Shepard, 125 pound champion from West Fargo. That's next here on the Max Sports Network. Mike Super Value has.